Street racing is a huge problem in Florida. Several state legislators are attempting to solve this problem by passing a law that broadens the definition of included behaviors of street racing and to harshen the penalties. Here's the problem for you. The difference between criminal racing behavior and just simply speeding is razor thin. In this video, we're gonna discuss how you might be pulled over for speeding and yet walk your way into an admission for criminal racing. I represent this man. He was pulled over for speeding while driving home from work. He's 40 years old, driving a 10 year old coupe with no criminal history, no speeding ticket since 2004. He's a computer engineer working for the defense industry. Did I mention he's a minority? Let's talk about it. The law regulating street racing came into effect in 1971. The muscle car generation? That means this is not a new problem. Back in my day, we used to take this stuff out to the rural roadways and nobody would mess with us. It was kind of understood, the cost of doing business if you get hurt or crash your car. The problem is the rural areas are disappearing and now these kids are a lot more brazen and they're bringing these dangerous activities to the main highways. Back in 2005, the state legislator modified the laws, adding more teeth to the racing statute. At the time, I was working as a state trooper assigned to the Midnight Squad in Orlando. Between eight and midnight, we targeted aggressive drivers. Then once midnight kicked around, we shifted gears to focus on DUI. Really fun job. All that came to a halt in 2007 when the statute was declared facially unconstitutional. The problem was the definition of street race, as used by the legislature in the statute, didn't include any type of challenge or competition. That's the core component of a race, a challenge of sorts. In 2009, the legislator fixed this problem by adding competitive challenge language to the statute. More on this later. For now, we gotta shift gears to help responsible citizens avoid turning their traffic stops into a racing case. In our case, the officer made a visual estimation of my client's car speeding as was traveling next to an SUV. No radar, just his visual estimate. That's reasonable articulable suspicion. That's gonna be enough to conduct a traffic stop. Now the car is lawfully stopped, we know that the officer interviewed my client based upon the officer's hand-doodled notes from the stop. Made contact with Blank, whom acknowledged he was racing and had no explanation. Look at that word acknowledged there. I've taken a few handwriting analysis classes. When words are scrunched up like that, Usually it means there's deception. Now this case, it's by the edge, I don't know. My client's steadfast that he wasn't racing, nor did he make an admission that he was racing. Since there's no body camera, it's a difficult position for us to be in. Here's what I think happened. The report says acknowledged, which is different than the word admit. This is significant because officers craft the words they choose. Recall back to the competitive challenge aspect of the statute. The driver has to establish the bad driving as well as the challenge and the acceptance to the challenge of a competition. The officer doesn't have that in this case. However, the standard for that is really low. Revving your engine, yelling out the window, just about anything could be seen as a competitive challenge and by accelerating off that light in response to that challenge, that could be deemed as acceptance. It's a low threshold. Now, think over to the admission side. If you apply that same type of threshold the admission required by the operator of the vehicle, you have a low threshold as well. So when the officer approaches, he doesn't need a signed confession statement. He just needs you to kind of routinely accept that you were racing. How does he do that? Good morning, my name is Trooper Lauder with the Florida Highway Patrol. The reason why I stopped you is because you and that truck back there were hauling butt racing around that curve. I'm gonna to need to see your license, registration, proof of insurance. Can you grab that for me? Did you know that guy in the SUV? It was just kind of like a thing where you guys came off the light. We don't have body camera footage, but I'm guessing that's what this officer did here. He laid out in his introductory statement, the term street racing or racing around the corner. He assumed that fact to be the case and then focused the attention on the secondary question of did you know that other driver or provide me your documentation. When the driver doesn't reject the underlying assumption that they were racing around the corner, the officer or the trooper takes into consideration that that's an acceptance and they've acknowledged that to be the case and therefore they don't have any lawful explanation. I presented you this problem with your driving, you have not countered what I said and you haven't provided any lawful explanation. Therefore, the default response is you have acknowledged and that is an admission. I don't know if that holds up, that's what I'm fighting. There's no body camera in the situation I'm fighting, but I'm guessing that's how it went down. The officer lays out the criminal admission within the introductory statement 
downplaying the significance, but uses the proper terminology. He then places the focus of the question on the secondary aspect of get your registration or insurance or did you know the other driver? If you only focus on the questions the officer is asking you and you don't attack that underlying statement in the beginning, they're going to treat that as an admission or an acknowledgement in this case. Many of you own firearms. If you own or carry a pistol in Florida, I've made a playlist of all the rules and laws you should know, including legal requirements, notification requirements, what you have to tell the police, and should you tell the police. Check out that playlist right here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Much appreciated.